Hello, dear friends. I hope you and family are doing well. Let me welcome you to the exciting world of birds. Will you remember to subscribe, please? The crested tree swift is a kind of tree swift. It was for some time considered the same species as its eastern relative, the gray rump tree swift, but they do not interbreed where their ranges overlap. It is distinct in flight, with long, bowed wings and a deeply forked tail that usually appears narrow and pointed. The crested tree swift is a large slender bird, this species is dove gray above and white below. The long swept back wings are a darker gray above. This tree swift has a crest and a long, deeply forked tail. The adult male has orange cheeks and ear covers with a narrow streak of white under the eye and a trace of a white supercilium. The female has a thin white stripe below the eye running along the cheek. Young birds have a dark gray head and wings but the feathers are edged in white and the rest of the soft plumage is much streakier than that of the adults. They are found in small groups that fly in wide circles in open forest, occasionally perching atop a tall and leafless tree. When perched they appear to sit very upright. The crested tree swift is a common resident breeder from the Indian subcontinent. It is found in India, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and China. These are birds of open woodland and deciduous forests. They are also found in open areas near trees and in parks and gardens. Most birds live in the lowlands below 1,000 meters. The crested tree swift builds a tiny and thin walled and shallow nest made up of pieces of bark and feathers which is glued with saliva to the side of an exposed tree branch. It lays one blue-gray egg which is incubated by both sexes. The nest is so small that incubating birds may just appear as if just normally perched on a branch having a knot. Adults may also sit along the branch when incubating. Nearly half the egg is visible above the edge of the nest and is covered by the down feathers of their breast and belly when incubating. The breeding season is during the hottest part of summer from March to July and nests may be positioned on the eastern side of a branch so that the adult would have the sun on its back during the afternoon. Females were observed to incubate more while males sit at nearby or captured insects. The nestlings are cryptically patterned in gray and freeze when threatened with a head held low and beak held slightly upward and appear like a knot on a tree branch or when sitting horizontally appear like a chameleon. The crested tree swift feeds in the air, capturing insects on the wing with its bill. They are known to sometimes roost communally. That was a cool journey. Thank you for your interest in wildlife. See you pretty soon. Take care and be safe.